What's up you guys, it's Alan, I'm back with a new video. This time, I got a package from the guys at Adidas. Oops. Like you can see, I got an Adidas 40 shoe. But before that, a whole bunch of socks. I don't know what is this thing with me and this obsession with socks, but every time I walk into a sneaker store or any store for that matter, I end up buying like a bunch of socks. I picked up the Air Max 90 undefeated ones and I picked up four pairs of socks with that one. And of course I bought a pair of shorts, nice olive green for the gym. That's interesting because it comes with these compression tights in addition. Alright, enough of that, the hero of today's story, the Adidas 40. Now, I waited a really long time to get my hands on the Adidas 40, so shout out to the guys at Adidas India for helping me get my hands on these ones. To be entirely honest, I never picked up any 40 sneaker because I didn't really like the look of any of them. The only one I liked was the very first one that came out, Futurecraft, and 40 you had the ZX and they were all multicolored, and then you had the Alpha Edge itself. Now, Alpha Edge is based on the Alpha Bounce, which is a regular running shoe. And now, that upper with a 4D printed, 3D printed, 4D printed sole is the Alpha Edge. I think I will love this pair because it comes closest to what the Future Craft 3D or 4D look like. I really like the packaging of the box in this one. See the label there like the print right there now as i slide this box open if you're new to the channel make sure to smash that subscribe button right there and if you've always been watching my videos and you really like my content give this video a thumbs up even if this is the first video of me you're ever watching however if you've been watching and liking my videos but haven't subscribed yet do that yeah all right <laughs> enough of the bullshit let me slide this box open it's got a real nice feel to it. There you have the shoes. Lift this off. Get the shoe out. Bam. Bam. I just noticed that this, light, this print here still has the 4D shape on it. Right. Like I was saying, all the 40 shoes that came before this, like the ZX, they came in colorways that were all bright and popping and all of that stuff. And I think this is the first one that comes closest to the Future Craft Runner. So there you have it, the Alpha Edge 4D. This one is the Star Wars collab. Now, unfortunately, in India, you only get full sizes, you don't get half sizes. And I really think I could have gone up half a size on this one. Now I'll try this on. I'll try this on while I went to the store to fetch it. Uh, this is why you'll see the outsole, which is continental rubber, by the way. It's a little dirty. So yeah, I really love the shoe, especially because it's the collab version. Let's get into the details of the sneaker, right? You have your Adidas branding right here. This almost looks like it's a glow in the dark that matches with your midsole which is this entire lattice like structure uh, made out of 4D printed material like I said before continental outsole proper prime knit upper and this is where it begins to get real nice and subtle you see the death star right there on the front tab whereas on the right pair you've got Adidas and Star Wars there's quotes on both of the pairs different ones on both this one says that's no moon and this one says the power of the dark side apart from that you have the empire badge on the dubre on both pairs right there the insole says adidas and star wars that's a price tag over there whereas the insole on the other pair on the right pair just says 40. i must let you know that Sliding my feet into these is real difficult. It's real hard. I really had to struggle and because I don't drink enough water I end up getting like muscle spasms right here 
because I'm bending down for so long and trying to get my foot in this which is why I thought probably a half size up would have been a nicer option but you can see subtle details of the dead star right here on this heel cup and you see that right there yeah so it's nice and subtle not too loud uh, doesn't really scream collab but it's got these nice details that made me fall in love with it at first I was very apprehensive about how the sneaker would feel now I must let you know that the weight it's quite heavy because I'm wearing my Ultra Boost 20 right and I can tell you right off the bat this is super light this one's super heavy so it's it's pitch as a running shoe but I don't know if I would ever wear this and run because it's quite stiff I heard from friends uh, who own pairs of the 4D that it breaks in after a few uses and gets really soft and look at that it's got enough of give on these but man imagine some dirt getting stuck right there that's gonna be a nightmare to clean right yeah so the logic of these 4D shoes was that Aida's want people to have customized shoes as per their feet so imagine you walk into the store you run a bunch of tests you run on the treadmill and then they would 3d print a shoe made to your specification that is the actual process of the 3d printed shoe but till they can get there they started doing these versions which again have been tested they've i think mapped like thousands thousands of runners and seen their different impact points and then map it all out to average right here there's another thing i must let you guys know again i don't know if it's a factor of not going half a size up like my toe ends right there that's all right not too uncomfortable but the lockdown or the push down on the midfoot area is horribly evident i mean i'm gonna try loosening out my laces i haven't got a lot of wear out of these but push down on this makes your midfoot hurt really bad i've had a similar experience with one of my earlier ultra boosts as well on which i think the undefeated ones so i pull the insoles out of them and i wear them with thin socks my verdict on these i'm not gonna run in these they're too heavy i'll stick to my ultra boost if i ever go running probably these will be worn to the gym a little bit but otherwise primarily lifestyle yeah i guess that's about it that's about all i have to say about the sneaker there are a million videos already out on the internet but i just wanted to let you know why i really waited this long to get this pair rather than buying any of the ZX's or any other version before this I think comes closest to the Futurecraft runner I'll slip this on feet I'll see you on the next one peace